Anthony, what do you see your role on this team coming up this season? Uh, I think, you know, it's, I don't think it's very different than it's been in the past. Um, obviously, last year when I was here, I think my role is to spread the floor to give guys like Russell and Kevin room to operate and make shots to be a veteran leader. Um, I think that's my role. Steve, early impressions of uh, Billy Donovan. Um, I know you hadn't got to spend a lot of time with him, but what did you know about him before he was hired? What do you know about him now? Um, I know that he recruited me in college. I took two visits there, so that's pretty much what I knew about him before, um, before I took the job here. He offered my sister a, a candy bar when she was younger, when I was being recruited. <laughs> we had to pay a quarter not to break NCAA rules. Um, so that was, that was my initial impressions of him. Um, but since we've been pretty much in out the last month playing and stuff like that, he's really just been, I think, watching very much. We've played a lot of five on five, and he's just, I think, been kind of watching the group um, and you know, just seeing how guys play and how they can fit and stuff like that. So I think he's, he's at this point just really been studying us. What turned you off from Billy in Florida? Uh, the candy bar. It was a, it was a bad candy bar. No, it was. I, I went. To, I ended up going to Marquette, which was 20 minutes from where I grew up, and I took two visits at Florida. It was definitely one of my final schools, but I just he wasn't a closer, so I I couldn't go. No, no. I was. I, I very very seriously wanted to go there, but it was it was too far. It was too far for me. When you came, you, you saw when you got here, you guys sort of hit a. a turbulent spot with all the yeah. injuries and the changeover. Are you excited to see what this team's really like with everybody on deck? Because you didn't really get to experience it last year. No, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I obviously wasn't on the team before <laughs> I'd gotten here. But I mean, I know who they were and you know the kind of series that they won. And I mean, the shots that I think Kevin hit on my other, my the teams that I was on so many times, I've been able to see what those guys had done before I got here. So I knew when I got here, the feel was was different. It was obviously a tough year with the injuries. And um, you know, even just the, the, in mid-season, I think when I was in Utah, we were talking about, like, do you think OKC is going to even make the playoffs, um, which had never even been a conversation. So coming in, I knew it was a different time. And I think knowing that guys are healthy, playing with Kevin, seeing that he, he does look good, he's able to do what he's done in the past, I think is you know, the, the biggest takeaway that I've had over the last month. You mentioned watching these guys from other teams. What was your impression of Russell as an opponent and then now getting to see him uh, behind the scenes and, and seeing what he did last season? Yeah, he's probably one of the guys I think that, you know, watching from a distance and then being in the locker room with him where, you know, I would say I was probably maybe wrong about him. I think you see like the, I always call him the angry Russell. He's like angry with the media. He's angry on the court. He's and I think it's not a bad thing. I think it's what fuels him, makes him go, and he puts him in the place he needs to be to be who he is. Uh, but in the locker room, he's like a totally different guy. He's just like extremely well spoken and nice and funny, and um, and so I think it's uh, it's he. I think he understands what it, what what place he has to be in to be uh, locked in and to be really good. And I think if that's the angry Russell, then you guys need to just be patient with him and and let let Russell be angry. <laughs> Steve, what's your relationship like with Ennis? Are you guys close? Did you guys talk during the free agency process, those kind of things? Yeah, you know, we're, I think we were close. And then I think when we were traded together, it kind of it bonded us a little bit. Um, and so I think throughout the free agency process, we did talk some, um, even though some of the times when he called me, I didn't know what number was calling me. It was, it was Ennis this summer. Um, and uh, yeah, he, he's just a guy who I think is, uh, He's so young and he's so talented, and I think obviously, you know, Sam getting him and bringing him here, he knew exactly what he was doing and knew how knew how good he was going to be for a long time. So he's someone I think we're going to all see mature so much over the next, you know, even year to two years. Steve uh, on Ennis, I uh, mean, like like you said, you, you've been around him for a while. Um, being in this system now or being here in this environment will. Will that help him start to develop a little more defensively too? Because we always we point sure. that out in his game. Yeah. No. I think you know there's there's stars in this league that are you know good at everything, and there's other guys that are 
incredible at offense and not so great at defense, that kind of thing. And I think, yeah, one of the knocks on Ennis has been, you know, defensively. But I think he's a guy who, in the right system, like I think you're, you're kind of asking, can be so effective. And I think, you know, his, his skill set, I think, matches up so well with other stars on this team. I think the way he gets rebounds around the hoop, the way he bulldozes guys out of the way and follows up Russell when he's going to the rim, I think his offense matches up so well. And I think, especially when he, he's playing well offensively, he plays better defensively. Um, and I do think that, obviously, you know, with, with Coach Donovan's system, which we don't all have a feel for, obviously, yet, um, is the right kind of feel, I think, that, that, that he'll need to, to be a better defensive player.